Hey everyone, and welcome to part three of my scorecard series on how to create a KPI report in Power BI Desktop. Now for those of you joining for the first time, I would recommend to go back and watch part two and part one of this series first to get the full experience and to be able to see everything that has led up to this point in this report. Those links can be found below in the description. Now, for those of you who have already watched the last couple of videos, you might notice that there's a few things that have been cleaned up since the last video. I've gone ahead and added a return row, as you can see up here. And then I've also added some data down to the return amount percentage as well. Now, I did this because our focus today is going to be on these three cards and KPI down here at the bottom, because I want to show you how to convert these cards into something that will allow us to apply color formatting. And then I want to create a new KPI to replace that chart increase or decrease icon that we have in that KPI card at the moment. Now, if you're wondering what I did for that return amount percentage, that's just a basic division. If I come over here and highlight that DAX formula and show you the formula at the top, it's simply dividing the return amount by the sales amount. So I'm not going to spend time showing how to calculate that because again, the focus is going to be on the design aspect and the visualizations themselves. So to start with, let's go ahead and just pick one of these three cards because the same formatting will be applied to all of them. So I'm going to start with the one over here on the right, because that will allow me to kind of zoom in on the screen a little bit better. So I'm going to select this. And what I'm going to change this to is that cards with states that we were using in the other video. So I'm going to come up here to visualizations and I'm going to select cards with states to convert it. There we are. And now my goal here is going to be, I want to take this card and make it look like the other ones above it. So I'm going to come over to the paint roller or the formatter. And to start with, I'm going to turn off category label because I don't need that label down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go to data label and I'm going to decrease that text size from 30 to 18. And what that will do, actually, let's let's knock that up just one. There we go. So 19. I essentially want to create a card that has roughly the same font size as the ones above it. So they don't look any different other than the colors that we'll be applying in just a minute. So let's talk about conceptually the result that I want to create for this card. I'm going to come over to here to my final scorecard example and looking at some of these cards that you see here, what I want to create is a color scheme that goes from green to red to yellow, depending on the values that we have in here. So I'm going to come back over to my scorecard and specifically the bucket that I want to create for these and this one um, as our example that we'll be working through, I'm going to create those three colors. And what I want to say is that anything that is 1.2% or higher is colored red. Anything that is between 0.8% and 1.2% is colored yellow. And then anything 0.8% or lower will be colored green. So those are the key performance indicators that I want to call out in terms of whether or not it's performing well, kind of caution or bad. And to do that, we can come up here to our paint roller I'm going to come down to this section for states. This will let me apply the conditions that will color the, the various KPIs that I want to indicate with the green, the orange, and the red. So to start with, I'm going to change my comparison to greater than or equal to. And my state A will be red because I want to know for anything greater than or equal to 1.2% that gets colored red. So that will be 0 0.012 decimals. The next state will be orange and that's going to get a 0 0.008 for 0.8 percent and then finally it's going to get green if it's anything less than 0.8 percent and then this very small number this is just going to make sure that that window that gets applied to it will never be um, anything that's narrow enough that this could fall outside of it now in a perfect world i could come up to the format painter up here and i could apply that to these other cards However, that is not the case because you cannot apply uh, for format painting to custom visuals, but we can do a little clever trick to make sure we don't have to repeat that process for the other two cards. So I'm going to delete these two cards and I'm going to copy and paste this one a couple of times. There we are. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap out the measures that are inside of the list over here. So this one's going to be the monthly amount here, just like the other ones above it. And this one is just going to be the return amount percentage all up. And we can take a look over here with our slicer and see it functioning appropriately with all of our other calculations. There we are. We can see, let's see if I can find one that has, ah, perfect. 
and I found one that also shows all three colors in it. There's the 1.22, which is above the 1.2, so that is colored red, and then the one next to it is the, is the yellow or orange color for the caution, and then because the third one is below 0.8%, that is colored green. Now the last thing that I want to do for this video is I want to change this KPI to something else. I want three arrow indicators to go ahead and accompany the three colors that I have for this. So that's what I want to change in here. So I'm going to come up and create a new DAX calculation. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and paste some code that I already have, but I'll walk you through it. So if we look at the, up at the top, we'll see that we have a couple of variables declared. I'm again using Unicar to retrieve the information for the up, middle, and down arrow. I'm using a variable to grab also what is the latest return amount percentage. And then down here at the bottom, with very similar logic to what I did for my three colors, if it is 1.2% um, or higher, it gets an up arrow. It gets in the middle. If it's greater than or equal to 0.8%, and then anything below that gets a down arrow. And I'm also going to color these as well as we'll see in a second. So I'm going to use that. Perfect. And I'm going to replace that with this KPI that's in here for the return trend. There we are. So now you can see that there's a little arrow in here pointing down for green. Now I can further enhance this card. Go ahead and collapse this by bringing in into this states measure right here. I can bring in the latest target amount percentage, which is what the KPI icon is based off of. So I'm going to add that there. And now if I come to the paint roller and if I apply the same states comparisons in here as I did before, so red, there we are. It will color it the same way because what that is, to, to clarify a little bit, is that arrow is actually still considered a character. The icons above it are actually part of an icon set and they cannot be colored or changed, but the arrows aren't really considered an icon as much as they are considered a non-alphanumeric uh, character, but still part of the font set. So that's why the states can be colored on this. It's really handy. You can even see as I click around a little bit, the, the arrow will change with that color as well. So it's really convenient. All right, that about covers it for this video. Just to show you what's going to be ahead next is I'm going to continue to build this out and apply a bit of that color formatting and everything else you see here in terms of the actual report design to get it to finally pop once it's completed. So that will be our final video in this series. If you liked this video, please click the like button or subscribe. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.